Hi, in this video we are going to look into a non-repetition based watermark system using wall sediment transform. So here we are going to impose a watermark as a QR code. So the QR code information contains a camera information something like that a serial number and the camera ID, the geolocation, date and time of a, a picture or a video captured. So here we are going to store a original image into a IMG function and the watermark as a QR information and then we are going to resize the QR into 29 cross 29 since the QR has a uh, standard of 3M which has 29 cross 29. So once the QR is generated we are going to store the QR into one dimensional vector. Once we store the one dimensional vector we need to do the uh, Hadamard transform or wall Hadamard transform for the original image. To do this original image Hadamard transform values we are going to convert the pixels into 64 uh, pixels in a black. So this black wise Hadamard transform has been done using a 1D Hadamard transform of 8 point in two manner. So one first it will do the 1D Hadamard transform for the row wise and it will do the 1D Hadamard transform in the column wise. So this will be explained with the Excel. So here the coefficients are stored in a matrix of 1 to 64 with 8 cross 8. So initially it will go for the first row of 1, 9, 17, 25, 33, 41, 49 and 57th pixel and then once it complete it will be stored in the row order. So once it is stored it will go for the second row of the pixels and again it will do for the second row as a coefficient. So and so on till the 8th row it will complete the Hadamard transform once it complete the 1D Hadamard transform function will be completed. Once it uh, the 1D Hadamard transform of 8 point completed we need to do the column wise 1D Hadamard transform of 8 point. So it will do for the 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56th coefficients. Once it complete it will move to the next column again it will move to the next till the last column. So once the last column is completed the 64 point Hadamard transform of 2D function is completed. So once if we complete we can able to do the uh, watermark functionality. So to do the watermark functionality the watermark algorithm needs a 1D coefficients. The 1D coefficient pixels will represents in which location we are going to impose a watermark. So once to do the 1D Hadamard transform we will convert the 64 pixel into a matrix. Once we convert the matrix we will go for the 1D Hadamard transform of row wise. Once the row wise completed for the x1 functionality we will go for the column wise functionality of x2. So once the column wise functionality is happened we need to impose a watermark in the 2D Hadamard transform. So to do the 2D Hadamard transform we will first find out the location from the 1D and then once we find out the location from 1D we will find out the binary value since the QR information has a binary information we need to impose a bit in the binary format. So to do the binary format the 2D coefficients has to be converted into a binary since the 2D coefficients are having uh, negative numbers these are converted into a uh, equivalent to complement equivalent positive number. So to do that we need to add 2 power n with a negative number which will become as a positive and we can able to convert into a direct binary using a decimal to binary functionality. So once if you convert into a decimal number we will impose the watermark bit in the respective position of the uh, respective coefficients. Once if we impose the respective watermark bit in the respective coefficient we need to invert the uh, two's complement equivalent into a original negative number. To do that we will subtract the 2 power n with the uh, watermark pixel. So once we subtract we have to do the inverse transform for the coefficients. The inverse transform will also happen the same way which we explained for the forward transform. So to do that do we will select the row wise first then we will go for the column wise. So there we did not have any normalization factor but in the inverse transform we had a form normalization factor of 1 by n which is 1 by 8 which is multiplied in the 1D transform of each forward function. So once we invert back we will reshape into 1D and then we will reshape into a matrix dimension of image size so which is 640 cross 480. 
so once we convert into 640 cross 480 we'll display the watermarked image as explained in the figure 1 and the qr image in the figure 2 and the original image img function in the figure 3 so the P uh, esnr functionality will be calculated it should be more than 30 so here to extract the watermark bit we'll store the original that means watermark functionality into the img function and we'll redo the same operation of forward transform so this when we want to do the re, uh, forward transform again we'll go for uh, 8.1d hadamard transform in two manner and then in the 2d coefficient we'll just extra convert into binary once we convert into binary in the respective position of watermark location we'll extract the bit and we'll store it into an array since the watermark is repeated throughout the image to eradicate the loss or uh, to in case if some tampering or something happened we can able to extract the watermark in the other location also so we need to extract the first 841 pixels so for the first 841 pixels will be reshaped into a 29 cross 29 with uint function so once if you convert the 29 cross 29 uint function into im binarize it will be a binary image so we will display the extracted QR in the figure 4. We will run the fun code and we will check the PSNR value on the image functional. The execution has over. So the figure 1 and figure 3 are the original and watermarked image. The figure 4 is the extracted watermark and the figure 2 is a original watermark. Since it's 29 cross 29, we can able to see a small image. So this is uh, the figure 1 is a watermarked image, figure 3 is a original image. If you look on it, uh, there is a small deviation in the color scale, uh, it's slightly darkened. So, but if you look on to the PSNR, it's 38.9, which is far better. So this algorithm can able to extract the watermark without a loss and also the original image functionality also doesn't have any much loss.